Yo, what's up? In this video, I'm talking about the five things you need to do when she's coming over to your place. All right, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification button because I'm dropping the video every day. All right, five things you need to do when she's coming over to your place. So let's just get right into this. I made some notes. So if you see me looking, I'm just looking at my notes because I want to make sure this is the best video for this topic. All right. Number one is do not have any expectations. I know what you're thinking. You're like, well, she's coming over to my place. Okay, maybe something will happen. Maybe something won't happen. If she's coming over to your place, that's a fantastic sign. That means she trusts you, right? Typically, in my dating experience, a woman is comfortable coming over to my place within two to three dates. Maybe within, within five dates for sure, but I usually ask them to come over within three dates because I want to test their comfort level with me. I don't have expectations, so that's number one. Don't have expectations for sex. You, you never know how it's going to go, and I never expect sex so then that way i don't get disappointed and she feels comfortable here's the thing women are very very sensitive to uh to guys coming across as creepy they want a guy that's respectful and they're afraid like us guys we're bigger we're stronger and they they don't want to put themselves in a, in a position where they're uncomfortable and let's say you're over at their place and you start making moves, now they're uncomfortable and they feel, oh, oh, if I say no, will he get angry and all these things, right? So I really, really encourage you guys to never have expectations when they come over to your place, especially at the beginning. Like obviously, if you're in a relationship and you've had intimacy and they're coming over, of course you're gonna kind of expect something's most likely going to happen, but I'm talking at the beginning, right? So do not have expectations and she wants to make sure that she, she doesn't want to sense that you're desperate, like that you're creepy, and she doesn't want to feel vulnerable. She wants to feel safe. So don't have expectations. All right. Number two, do not make the first move. Don't make a move on her. When I say a move, I mean a sexual move. Like you're going to go in for a kiss or you're going to, you know, try to initiate intimacy, whatever. That's what I mean about not making a move. You can make a move when it comes to holding her hand. Here's a blanket. Oh, do you want to snuggle? Do you want to cuddle together? That's not a move. That's just you're, you're, you're forming a bond and you're, you're being affectionate. What I'm talking about is not don't make the first move is go in for the first kiss or go in tr trying to be intimate. Now, Obviously, there's exceptions. Like, for example, I was on a date recently. She came over. We were cuddling. And she actually said to me, she, I gave her the blanket. She's like, oh, do you want to cuddle up with me? And I said, fantastic. Uh, of course. So, right? <laughs> you wouldn't. So, so I cuddle up beside her. And all of a sudden, we're, we're facing each other. Her face was close to me. And I'm like, I'm going in for the kiss. Because we hadn't kissed yet. Because this was our second date. She came over. So I kissed her when the time when it made sense but what's the why that happened is because i allowed her to to be comfortable and she before we cuddled she was holding my hand on the couch and then i gave her the blanket and she said oh why don't you lie closer why don't we cuddle so that that's what i mean like you need to let her basically come to you with the affection before anything happens and you need to just, just, just be, just be sensitive to, you know, how, is she comfortable? And it, if she feels comfortable, she's going to want to engage with you on a, on a physical level. That's number two. So number three, and every woman loves this, is you cook for her. So if she's coming over to your place, the exception is maybe she might say, "Hey, do you want to get takeout?" Okay, fine. But I haven't met a woman, any woman that's come over to my place that didn't appreciate you cooking for them. 
It doesn't have to be super fancy, but if you cook for them, especially, you know, barbecue, chicken, barbecue, if you have a barbecue, chicken, seafood, steak, almost every woman, because I don't take vegans, but every woman loves a steak. And it's easy to make. I rhymed. <laughs> so, so you cook for them. They're going to love it. The next thing, number four, is clean your damn place. God, man, I just, I don't understand. These guys that have a dirty bathroom, a dirty place, I would never have a woman come over to my place unless my house is clean. I even use a Swiffer and I Swiffer the baseboards. I don't like dust on the baseboards. Maybe I'm a little OCD, but it works. I have women come into my place a lot and things happen. And that's just the way I do things. Women like a guy who's clean and takes care of himself because if you take care of yourself, you can take care of someone else. So last, number five, she comes over to your place, be respectful. Do not be looking at her in a lustful way. Don't be all creepy and shit. Um, so this la the example that I gave you where she came over and we kissed, my God, you guys, she, the body on her was like a nine. <laughs> like she was so, she will probably go on another date. She's so hot. And Sometimes she would like lean over on the couch and look out the window and say, oh my God, what an amazing view. And guess, guess what view I'm looking at when she's looking out the window and it's right there. We hadn't kissed yet. And she's wearing this cute little outfit and her body. It's just, and I, I'm just telling myself, if, nope, nope, be respectful. Don't make the move. Let it happen naturally. And that's exactly the way it happened. But believe me, man, she'd get up to go to the the restroom and I'd see her walk and I'd see that oh my god I love petite women and she's petite and so cute <laughs> so it was very very hard but I'm just telling you and the evening was fantastic she stayed over for quite a while and then we ended up kissing nothing more than that because I, again I don't have expectations and I want her to be comfortable with me so hope you like this video man let me know in the comments what you think and what do you guys do when you know she's coming over to your place? We'll see you next time.